Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Father God. <laughs> Ooh, blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Lord, I thank you. I praise you. I bless you. Thank you so very much. I want to welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hallelujah. This is the Intercessory Prayer Connection, and specifically Friday, Intercessory Prayer Connection. And God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, all three are one, are the host. And I'm just being yes, used as a vessel, along with my dear sister, Sister Miriam Williams. We're so glad that she's with us again this Friday. Hello, Sister Williams. God bless you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I know people wonder why I'm laughing and uh, doing that. <laughs> because God does great things and he is doing great things. Sure he broadcasts. He's brought us a mighty long way. Mighty long way. And we are yes, thankful. Yes. I'm very, 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 very thankful for what God has done and is doing is doing he's a marvelous 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 god and music you hear in the back that thing is our theme song amen most of you will be watching this yes, on the lord. on my tv channel that the lord inspired me to uh produce the last word revelation 22 21 and it states the grace of our lord jesus christ be with you all amen last book of the bible revelation last chapter 22 last verse 21 and the last word is amen hallelujah it is so amen and we thank god we thank god for the privilege to be a part of this particular broadcast and we know that there are many, there are so many saints, there's so many of God's people, hallelujah, that are broadcasting the good news. It is wonderful. It is truly wonderful. And we're very, 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 very happy about that. Praise the Lord. So I am going to now ask my sister to read Matthew the uh, well maybe not now but at least get the matthew 6 chapter starting at the fifth verse and we're going to end at the 18th verse if i have it correctly is that all right sister williams it is all right so i need to um need to take the share off take the shops yep there we are sister williams yes oh dear Okay, she cannot hear me right now, and I know why. Amen. Okay. Sister Williams? Yes. Amen. I'm here. I'm to, oh, great. I'm going to ask you to read um, Matthew, the sixth chapter. Amen. Starting okay. at the starting at the uh, fifth verse and ending, I believe, at the 18th verse. But not right now. I think what I'll do is actually go to um, explain the foundational scripture, which is Matthew 18th chapter. Mm. No, I think I'll have you read. I'll have you read the... Um, this scripture although we didn't pray yet yes yeah, so we'll have you read Matthew the sixth chapter please 5 through 18 and I'm going to do my best to get it on the screen uh, very quickly I'm kind of hesitating uh, to do that but I'll manage all right and just let me know when you're ready and we will go whenever you are oh all righty then <laughs> all right I'm the one dragging 
Okay, very good. I just about have it on the screen. Um, Matthew. Okay, go to Matthew. And um, let's see. Matthew. No. And uh, let's go here. Matthew. Alrighty, well, let me do this while I'm doing that. And um, see what I say, six. Okay. And starting at the fifth verse. Alrighty, and I think I have it together now. That took me a little longer than I anticipated. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And this is, we know that the same prayer, well, similar, is also found in Luke. And um, choose Matthew because we also have another scripture that we utilize in the same book and just keep that consistency going. All right, my sister, thank you for your patience. Mm -hmm. All right, you may start. Thank you, Sister Miriam. Okay, I'm starting at Matthew, the sixth chapter, and beginning at the fifth verse. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, Pray to thy Father, which is in secret, and thy Father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do, for they think they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be ye not therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. But when but, but if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have the Lord. But when thou fast, anoint thine head, and wash thy face that thou may appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which is in secret shall reward thee openly. Amen. God Amen. Amen. You, would you go and... Uh, now we read the prayer, but Sister Williams, will you now pray for the broadcast and for people, please? God in heaven, we do thank you for this another day. We thank you for keeping us through the night and letting us see this another day because we realize we did not have to, but because of your kindness and your goodness, Lord, be with us today, direct and guide us in everything that we do. We look to you, but not to help us, Lord, and you will, and you can, Lord, Lord, Lord. have your way in our lives. Bless us, Lord, 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 as we seek thee in all things, Lord, have your way. Let thy will be done, Lord. Lord. Be with us, we pray. Undertake, but don't know, as we look to you, you can, but don't help us. We need your help, and you can, and you will direct and guide us. Keep us, we pray, that we might do thy will at all times. As it is said in the scripture, we're not, not to, to show off before men, but Lord, you know what we have need of. Help us, we pray. We want to do your will. We want to be pleasing in your sight in all that we say and do. Undertake for us. Meet our needs, but not and now help us, Lord, because we need your help. We realize that we cannot do this by ourselves, but we need you, 
when thou not to be with us. Have your way in our life. Bless us what we are trying to do. Because you told us to go into the world, but now we are trying to reach as many people as you can. Mm-hmm. With your help, we can reach. Have your way, Lord. Let thy will be done. Be with us. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Help us, we pray. Help upon us, direct and guide us, and keep us, Lord, this day and every day that we're on this earth. Help us, Lord. Help us, we need your help. Direct and guide and keep us, we pray. Have thine way. Bless us here, Lord, as we're trying to do thy will. We know Satan wants to put a stop to this. But, Lord, we look to you in all things that we do and say. Help us, we pray, Lord Jesus. Have your way. Bless us the service and one on one that we are trying to do to your pride. You know, you know. Undertake for us. Meet the need. Meet the need, Lord, because we need you. you, know, you know. We want you to help us. Have your way in our life. Have your way, Lord, direct and guide and keep us in your will. Let thy will be done. Help us, Lord. Help us as we pray to you. Meet the need, Lord. Meet the need. We need you, Lord. We need you. We can't do this by ourselves, but you have to help us. And we're asking for your help. Help us, we pray. Undertake and meet the need, Lord. Let thy will be done. Help us, we pray. Direct and guide us, Lord. Have thine way. Have thine way. Have your way in our lives and all that we do and say. Let it be pleasing in your sight. Direct and guide and keep us, Lord. Keep us, we pray. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, we pray, Lord. Have thine way. Have thine way in our life. Be with us, Lord. Each and every day, Lord, we need you. And we are coming to you, Lord, because we can give us the help that we need. Be with us, we pray. Direct and guide and undertake for us, Lord. Undertake for us this day. Have thine way. Help us, Lord. Have thine way in our life, but no, no. As we try to do this, but no, no. For your benefit, as you were asked us to. Help us, Lord. You said in your word you wanted us to go all into all of the world. We are trying, Lord. We might not reach every single person, but Lord, we are trying to do what you want us to do. Help us, Lord. We need your help. We realize we cannot do this alone, but not that we need the help of God to be with us. Direct and guide us and keep us, we pray. We keep this, keep us, Lord, in your will this day and every day. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in our life and help us, Lord, that we might do what you want us to do in all things. No, no. Let our life be pleasing to your sight and be with us, Lord, as we try to do what you want us to do. Help us, Lord. We need your help. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Direct and guide and keep us in your will this day and every day. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Be with us. Be with us, we pray. Things might try to get you to stop doing this, but Lord, be with us. Be with us. You have you have more strength than we do. But no, no. We need your help. Help us, we pray. Direct and guide. Keep us, Lord. Keep us, Lord. This day and every day. Have your way in our life. Mm. Have your way, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to give this over to the missionary so she can read the other scripture. And if she wants to pray, she can pray. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Sister Miriam Williams. Thank you. I love your voice. Amen. Praise God. And for the audience, a um, little background information, I am just so overjoyed to be able to have and share this time with my sister Mary Williams. We go back many, many decades, actually. But what's so wonderful about this particular broadcast is that we're able to combine through the telephone. We're using Zoom, mm-hmm. but she's on the phone in a totally, uh, I, I couldn't even reach her um, physically because of the pandemic. And yet the Lord, be God being God, he's, he's just amazing. He had everything already set up and in place. And so I am able, hallelujah, to hear and to um, enjoy my sister Miriam Williams via the telephone, Zoom, and broadcasting, okay. streaming live to Facebook. This is amazing, astonishing. 
Hallelujah. Now God I doing do this. But fail. I was going there. <laughs> he <laughs> does. He does it. It. Go ahead, Sister Miriam. Yes, he can do anything. And, oh, he, and he does it do before we even know that it's possible. Needed. Impossible. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. God is amazing. God, oh, God. is well, thank you, amazing. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He is. He is. And when he gives us a promise, he doesn't wait until a situation occurs and then start the process to apply the promise. The promise is already activated. Hallelujah. It Even is. before it he is. lets us know. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And it really, if you want to be very secular about it, it makes sense. Um, we're planning a function. The thought <laughs> comes to your mind to have the function. And then you go through the steps of planning for the function. And you have everything in order. Then you you inform those who you're inviting or part, the, the uh, participants as well as the um the guest about the the function you don't invite <laughs> and inform before you do the planning or have everything in place uh -uh, no 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 so god being god when he says thus and so or verily especially if he says verily but if he says verily verily oh it is as they say, show enough, D-O-N-E, done. So I am excited every single Friday. The fact that we're able to broadcast, Mrs. Sister Williams, this in and of itself is manifestation of miracle. True? God, God can do anything. <laughs> He's yes, doing it. Nothing too hard for him. Nothing it is. It might be kind of hard for us, but he can do anything. Amen. You know, it's, it's really yeah. difficult for us to even grasp some of the concepts but i'm going to uh share now and uh, i have so many favorite scriptures but this is such a meaningful scripture uh and this this um friday well actually all the sessions that i have or i'm participating in this is the key scripture in my heart one of the key scriptures in my heart but i i love it i just l-o-v-e-i-t love it it is so encouraging. And this promise is to God's children, children of light, those who are born again. You know, so many people are contemplating suicide. And I say, now listen, if you're going to really think about suicide ending your life, and if the enemy has you to that degree where you're planning to end your life, end it the right way. And people are gasping. <gasps> What did she say? End it the right Yes, end it the right way. He said, what are you talking about? Are you crazy? No. End your old life and get a new life. Be born again. <laughs> I just love it. Mm -hmm. I just love it. Hey, Amen. I got rid of my old life. There were times I just said, stop the world. I want to get off. Hey, Amen. It was too much for me god. and god said okay we're going to do what you're requesting we're going to end your life and he gave me a new life in his only begotten beloved son jesus christ i admitted confessed my sin my wrongdoing my wretchedness my unrighteousness all of that filth you know yuck hallelujah all all of my wrongdoing and I asked the Lord, help me. You've got to help me. Listen, I'm going to say you've got to help me. But I need help. I was in a desperate state. Desperate. I mean, it was horrendous. Oh, I mean, I had the, the material things. That really wasn't it. <laughs> but my heart, my spirit, mm, 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 had a lot to be desired. So it was a spiritual need that I had at that time and God led me to a place of worship and I was born again and you talk about a happy camper 
whoo, all I could do was just laugh and and dance and jump and spin and hug and I was just absolutely oh it was wonderful it was eu euphoria I man marvelous so that's what I mean that if you're contemplating suicide end it the right way give up your old life <laughs> to Christ Jesus let him come into your heart and and be born again not of the flesh and of the blood no 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 but of the spirit and of the water. Amen. Read the Gospel of John. It is so beautiful. It is just so loving. It is so wonderful. Read the uh, Gospel of John. You will enjoy it. And if you read it, read it again. It's a wonderful love letter written for you. Uh, amen. Well, all right. For those of you, hopefully you have Matthew, the 18th chapter and we're going to begin at the 18th verse and we're going to um, the, the focus will be from 18 to 20 but we're going to read beyond that as well and it states 18th chapter of Matthew 18th verse verily I love that all right now verily <laughs> <laughs> I say unto you whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven that's powerful that is so mm -hmm. so powerful again i say unto you again again i say mm -hmm. unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. Do you see the connection? Oh, I love it. We just read Matthew, the sixth chapter. Amen. Verses five, straight on through 18. And now we know, we know, we know we're talking about the creator of heaven and earth. Amen. The creator of mankind. And we're talking about his only begotten son, Jesus. Amen. Jesus, the one who said to his father, well, actually it was three and one. And since he was not born yet. <laughs> oh, my. Mm -hmm. I tell you, this is so exciting. And it's, it's just absolutely amazing. Jesus being in heaven said to God Almighty the Lord God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and everything around it, in it, everything, every universe, every galaxy, everything. He said to him, um, prepare me a body since you need someone to go to earth to reconcile mankind back to you because uh, Satan, who was Lucifer, has, has uh, rebelled and taken one third of the angels uh, with him Prepare me a body. I will go. I will suffer. I will present myself a living sacrifice so you can reconcile mankind back to you. And God did that. He prepared a special seed and he placed it in the womb of a virgin. Amen. That virgin's name is Mary. And that seed germinated. That germinated, I, I tell you, it, it is amazing. The baby was formed, and there are accounts in the word that says the baby, whose name is Jesus, leaped in Mary's womb when it came in contact with his cousin, who was John, John the Baptist, was in the womb That's of right. Elizabeth. It is amazing. Hallelujah. But Jesus uh, went full term, was born. Uh, subjected himself to the uh, laws, the culture. A man was obedient to his mother and his father. Father was Joseph, his by his stepfather, actually. Amen. So those of you, all right, there it is. Jesus had a stepfather. Hmm. Well, now praise God. Anyway, <laughs> he grew to become a man, an adult, and he submitted himself to suffering 
as an adult, even to being whipped on the whipping post, 39 stripes of the most horrific whip you can imagine. Uh, they say it was braided with glass and stone in it. Every time that whip made contact with his body and was pulled, it pulled out flesh and blood. So you know, 39 stripes, if it was only one, that would have been more than enough. But it was definitely more than one. Amen. And he suffered those yeah. 39 stripes for your healing, my healing, our healing. And this Friday, we fast and we pray with the focus on sure healing. Do. Amen. Saints all around the whole wide world. Ooh, hallelujah. Know about this promise and they fast and they pray not to be seen of men no 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 but to join together hallelujah corporate prayer for the healing of mankind individuals uh, uh groups i mean you whatever uh hallelujah how whatever the grouping is amen Praise God. We are all saints all around the whole wide world agreeing in prayer. Amen. Bringing out supplications, petition, and requests to the throne of grace, to God's throne of grace, through his only begotten beloved son, Jesus, our Savior, our Messiah. Amen. And Jesus, as if it wasn't enough to be beaten, then he allowed this beaten, bloody sore body to be nailed to the cross and he hung on that cross amen and he finished the work and he hung his head down he gave up the ghost they pierced him in the side water and blood came out he was graveyard dead they took the body down they buried that body in a borrowed tomb and on the third day as it was prophesied that dead body was resurrected came back to life and was. he was seen above 500 souls and what i love about this too this is amazing all of it is amazing but he wasn't the only one that was resurrected he was the first but there were other souls that were resurrected as well amen and you can find that in the first corinthians 15th chapter six verse amen i always say read the verse before and after as well amen so here we go back to matthew the 18th chapter and going to the 20th verse now and it reads for where two or three are gathered together in my name there am i in the midst of them now of course when this was written they did not have zoom <laughs> <laughs> they did well, not have technology, not they didn't even have electricity. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because when they say gather together, we are gathered together through this technology. Are you there, Sister Williams? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, Susie, I'm listening to everything you say. It sounds good. Amen. We are right gathered ahead. together. Sister Williams and I are together. And those of you that are listening, that are viewing, we are in concert. Amen. Praise God. I just love it. I really do. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Hallelujah. Whatever your petition, supplication, hallelujah, your request, amen. And of course, we know the saints are going to make requests in accordance with God's will. Then came Peter. This is the 21st verse. Then came Peter. How often, uh, how, oh, then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother <laughs> sin against me and I forgive him till seven times? Now, you know, there are brothers and sisters in the natural, our biological, adopted, whatever, as well as brothers and sisters in the Lord that can really push your buttons. <laughs> And then some of them, praise the name of the Lord. Yes, yeah, some of them, they don't know that they're irritating you. They don't mean to, not at all. But you do have some that are just really irritants, and they seem to derive good pleasure irritating you. 
or they just oppose you in such a in such a manner that it's irritating whatever the case is you are irritated <laughs> and i'm purposely using the word irritated as opposed to offended amen praise god so uh now this peter is very specific he said how often shall my brother sin sin against me <laughs> this 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 is his brother you know we, brothers sisters will sin they those occasions come up where they sin against you and we like to be pleasant about it so we say some unknowingly but you have those again like i said they know what they're doing they're purposely sinning against you and he said then how, how often but so my brother sin against me and i forgive him till seven times <laughs> now see this More is telling him too hallelujah and jesus said unto him i say not I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Amen. And God said what he meant, and he means, says what he means, and means what he says. And that's, that's our task, is to forgive. We have to forgive. God forgives us more than seven times seventy. Oh, yes, he does. So we want to be forgiven. We need to forgive. That's God's will for his children. Now we know we have children that are obedient and we have children that are disobedient in the kingdom of God. But I know I want to be an obedient child. And when I do yes, sin, do too. when I do miss the mark, when I do offend, I want that gift of repentance i want to be able to say forgive me i'm sorry i confess that i did sin forgive me of my sin and i want to be forgiven amen so that means i have to forgive and that's why i forgive <laughs> i'm just telling you the truth yeah. amen that's me free it'll set you free as well praise god so we thank god for his word now that's the basis that's the foundation upon which we go forth and we pray for those who are in need of healing. There's another scripture. I just have a sense that there may be uh, those of you that are not familiar or will, how do you say, benefit from um, being refreshed, amen, from this scripture. This is Luke, the 10th chapter. And starting at the, uh, let's see, we'll start at the 17th verse. And many of you are already acquainted. And it's not about being acquainted or not acquainted. Sometimes we need to be reminded. That's the word, reminded. So this is Luke, the 10th chapter, 17th verse, uh, 18, 19, and 20 verses. And the 70th returned again with joy saying lord even the devils are subject unto us through thy name amen amen I want you to really yeah. think about that the 18th verse says and he said unto them i beheld satan as lightning fall from heaven Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. This is amazing. This yeah. is amazing. And back in the day, I was so bothered with tormenting spirits, literally. Tormenting spirits. And the Lord God, hallelujah, praise the Lord. 
the Lord God Almighty educated me, letting me know that he's already given me authority to deal with these tormenting spirits. And it took a while. It took a while. But oh, praise God. When I got hold of this truth, hmm, all right, they may come. They do come. But I know that they will not have the impact that they had back in the day. You know, it's like someone sneaking up on you. You may get startled. You may get startled. <laughs> oh, but when you over, <laughs> when that passes, mm -hmm, it's a totally different situation. You take control in the name of Jesus Christ. And so I'm sharing that with you today because, again, this is Friday Intercessory Prayer Connection, and we are praying with a focus on healing. And somebody needs to know that these prayers are not just whimsical ideas or or um, picking up one of those um, dandelions and blowing on them, making wishes. No, we are exacting the authority that the Lord God has given us through his only begotten son, Jesus the Christ, the Messiah, the Redeemer. Hallelujah, our high priest, our mediator, amen, our intercessor. Praise the Lord God, who can be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. So we know, as it states in John, that we have these petitions that we bring before the Lord. Not because we say so, no, but because God himself, hallelujah, sent his only begotten son that we would have this authority. You read, go back to Genesis, and you read um, in Genesis, God gave dominion to mankind. Amen. Never intended for Satan to have dominion over mankind. No, 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 no. But mankind is to have dominion over Satan and every one that's of those right, fallen right. angels. That's the way God set it up, and that's the way God wants it. And it's up to you and I to learn. Hallelujah. Ooh, I've got to calm down. You just don't know. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. Hallelujah. That's the way God wants it. That's the way he means it to be. But we are free moral agents, so we can choose to read, to learn, of the Lord God Almighty to learn of Jesus who is meek and humble but all powerful through his Father God. Well, he isn't, he is in his own right and with Father God. It's amazing. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. All three are one. Amen. So I would like to share 1 John, uh, the fifth chapter. Fifth chapter. Yeah. First John, the fifth chapter, and uh, starting at the, let's see, let's start at the 13th verse, and we're going to read down. This is exciting, because we're talking about healing, and you need to know the authority that you already were given. Hallelujah. You know, it's like having, um, how do you say, oh, someone writes a check for you writes you a check but you've got to go get the check amen praise the lord you get the check but you got to take the check to the bank <laughs> you can walk around yeah. with that check in your pocket pocketbook whatever but if you don't negotiate it if you don't take it to uh the bank if you don't don't utilize it so that you can obtain the currency it's not going to work for you that's true and I'm not talking about showing it as collateral. I'm talking about you have to cash that check. Amen. Mm -hmm. So this is the um, this is First John fifth chapter, and I'm starting at the thirteenth verse. It says, "These things have I written unto you that uh, believe." Now let me start over again. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God. 
that ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. That is IT it. Let me calm down. Ooh, hallelujah. My, that's it. Those aren't my words. Mm -mm. You have it already. It's not something that you have to gain or work for. Jesus is the one that worked for it. He's the one that suffered, bled, and died. He did the work. He's the propitiation for our sin. He has already done the work. He has written the check mm -hmm. in blood. And he has given it to you. Ha! Glory to God. To us. Then it is our responsibility to make the decision to cash it, to use it. Amen. Now, if you cash the check and you have the money in your hand or in your bank account or however you you do that, you have access now to spend that money and you don't do it, that's on you. If you don't use it, use it as collateral or however you want to use it, that's on you. You have it, but you choose not to use it. You know, um, there were many, many stories, again, I'm going to say back in the day, where there were people eating out of trash cans, carrying all kinds of shopping bags, etc., and the bags were full of money. Can you believe that? There are people that have literally died and had thousands and thousands of dollars. That's true. So they lived beneath their privilege for whatever the reason. This scripture, this this manuscript, hallelujah, that we use. Now, I've used a virtual one. But this, this manuscript, the Holy Bible, this King James, the Holy Bible, holy. Because there's a lot of Bibles, but they're not holy. They're not righteous. It's man's manipulation of God's word. Praise God. That's another discussion. But this Holy Bible has the promises that God has for you. Amen. Amen. He knew you before you were placed in your mother's womb. Psalms 139. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Yes, I could have just started praying, Sister Williams and I. Amen. But somebody, somebody needs to know the foundation. Ah! Woo! And there are mm -hmm. many, many promises and many, many words we could have shared. But this, these promises, these particular sections, um, writings, if you will, are the ones that placed on my heart, my spirit to share with you. You need to know, Satan comes but to steal, to kill, and destroy. Well, you have to have something for him to kill, to steal, or to destroy. You have that which God has given you through his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. You're born again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of these promises are for you. We have to practice them. And then if we meet people who are not utilizing it, intercessors intercede for those individuals. It's awesome. It's God has it all worked out. Amen. Good success. And Lord, we don't know what's going on out there. I think you can hear the sirens. Praise God. But we ask you to intervene, intercede, intercept on the on their behalf, whoever is affected, dear God, and your will be done in that person and family life, all that associated in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So praise God. Now, Sister Williams, do you have anything to add before we start to pray for healing? I do you have I anything you. you'd like to share, add, before we start our specific prayer for healing? You go right ahead. You're doing real well. 
Okay. I'm enjoying you. <laughs> oh, praise God. Well, you, know, you just let me know when um, you have something that you want to add in, please. And you can thank always you. pray for me. I can't Amen. do too much of the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. And or you can pray for yourself and I can agree with you in prayer. We can do both, as a matter of fact. <laughs> we can do both. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The Father God, we thank you for your promises. Yes, Lord. We do thank, thank you. you. Praise thank you. you for your goodness. For your your yes, goodness. Lord. We thank you, dear Lord. There's none like you. And no one, but no yes, one else Lord, I believe. the things that you do. You and we do search for all eternity, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And find that there is none like you. And we're praying today, dear God, we're in obedience to what you gave your manservant, Bishop um, Bishop Mason, amen, C.H. Mason. And you had him to ask for the believers to fast and pray on Tuesdays and Fridays, and Fridays with the focus on healing. And Lord, you are ever so faithful. You're faithful. You yes, you are. Word. You, you always, you. always, always keep your word. And we are very grateful for that, dear God. Asking you, Lord, to have your way. Help us to relinquish so that you have your way. So that we will speak the words you want us to speak. We want your souls to be healed. We want them to enjoy the work that your only begotten son Jesus the Christ performed on this planet earth father only you only yes, you Lord. Lord God through your son Jesus Christ can make the difference hallelujah we can't do it but you you through your only begotten son can perform everything that needs to be done that we could be free free yes, hallelujah yes. of all the attacks of the enemy oh god we thank you we thank you we praise you and we bless you there is none like you no one i say no one else can do the things that you do and we can search for all eternity, Lord, and find that there is none like you. So, Lord, we're asking you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to heal. Heal, dear God. Heal. Heal. Heal physically and heal naturally in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal. Lord God, there are those that are suffering from thrombosis dear lord oh god there is such pain they're in such pain they're in such agony lord god we ask you for your mercy and for your grace to manifest in their lives in the mighty name of your only begotten son jesus hallelujah the name that is above every name that is name. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, the name which every demonic spirit must flee. Must flee. Hallelujah. Because you have deemed it to be so. And we thank you. We thank you. We praise you. We bless you. Hallelujah. Lord God, we know there's so many souls and so many children that are being plagued with high blood pressure low blood pressure father god yes, we ask we you heal. hallelujah and we so state they should be healed let them be healed let healing take place hallelujah in their bodies dear god in the mighty name of jesus let healing take place every soul of your choosing lord let their bodies be normalized let that spirit mm -hmm. 
of high blood pressure, the spirit of low blood pressure. We bind your works in the mighty name of Jesus, not just for those souls in Washington State, hallelujah, but all around the whole wide world. Dear God, those souls that are being buffeted about and plagued with mental disease, dear God, uh, schizophrenia, bipolar, dear God, Alzheimer's, yes, Lord, dear Lord, God, God, every help, help, mild malignancy of the yes. mind, of the brain, of the of the circuitry, dear God, hallelujah, hey, hallelujah, let healing take place, be healed, Satan, loose your hold, loose your whole N-O-W now, loose your whole in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, let those minds, let those souls be restored to normalcy hallelujah let them let the brain be regenerated hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus let every every circuitry let every part every electron proton and neutron of the brain mass hallelujah be restored to normalcy yes, hallelujah Lord. in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah the brain that is dehydrated let it be restored the brain that yes, has Lord. excess yes, Lord. fluid yes, Lord. let it be restored hallelujah the skull that has been compromised one way or the other let it be completely restored in the mighty name of jesus let tumors let growth hallelujah whatever the malignancy is let it be completely eradicated and let that brain be restored be it a baby be it a child be it a toddler be hallelujah a youth be it a teenager be it a young adult be it an old adult a senior hallelujah hey hallelujah hey hallelujah and lord god Hallelujah. Hey, receive. Yes, you will, Lord, Lord, yes, God. You will. I thank you for receiving. Thank you for hearing. For it is written. Hallelujah. Let those who are not in their right yes, mind. Hallelujah. Let those minds be restored be sure. in the mighty name of Jesus. Satan, loose your hold. I say, we say, loose your hold. Be gone. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Dear Spirit of the Most High God, hallelujah, heal, let healing take place. Dear God, let not the saints leave, <laughs> hallelujah, without yes, knowing Lord. who and where and what they are in the mighty name of Jesus. Let not the enemy bring about such a condition in Jesus' name. Lord, Father God, those that have skin diseases, boils, uh, cancer, um, eczema, whatever the 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 the, uh, the affliction is, let healing take place. We say, be healed, be healed, be healed. Hallelujah! This disease from the scalp to the bottom of the feet, be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Whatever yes, Lord. You cancer, can. Hallelujah. Can. Leukemia, uh, breast cancer. Um, rectal cancer, um, prostate cancer, uh, whatever the cancer is, leukemia, hallelujah, yes, be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. It is God's will, hallelujah, that Satan not buffets you about. Confess your sins, hallelujah, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, yes, you will, hallelujah, Jesus said, is it easier for to say that your sins are forgiven or take up your bed and walk that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sin? Those are not my words as much written. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. In the mighty name of Jesus, be healed. We bind the spirit of stubbornness, rebelliousness. Hallelujah. Stiff neckedness. Hallelujah. We bind those spirits of pride that would keep, that would prevent, hallelujah, souls from admitting holly, and seeking forgiveness and receiving restoration. Hey, hallelujah. Oh, God, let your spirit of love engulf. Hallelujah. Fill the hearts and fill the minds that healing take place 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't get mad with me. Hallelujah. It is written. <laughs> Praise God. I have to go through the same process. Hallelujah. You have a choice to make, to receive it or reject it. Hallelujah. I am doing what the Lord has blessed me to be able to do. He is the one that does the work. I don't do the work. I speak the words that he has written. Hallelujah. And he performs the work. Hey, I love it. I love it. It works for me. Does it work for you, Sister Williams? Yes, it does. Yes, it, oh, yes, it does. It's blood Thank work. You. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Lord, bless it's our sister. Blood work. Bless her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Bless yes, her. Lord. Have your way. Every condition. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Have your yeah. way in my life. Good God. Life of everyone that's listening to us. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, we in the name of the Lord have strengthened her we thank you how you've given her resolve holly determination to go forward even in pain dear god we thank you dear lord bless her toenails bless her toes bless every toe bless her tendons dear god in the name of jesus yes, the cartilage dear god the ankles the bones the marrow of the bones dear god hallelujah bless her feet like her yes, bless yes. her feet bless her ankles bless her legs oh god bless her knees hallelujah the cartilage hallelujah this disc hallelujah that's between the bones of the knees dear god bless her tibia her fibia lord bless her the thighs bless her body bless it bless every bone in her body every cartilage all the cartilage in her body from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet and not sister williams only lord but those all those hallelujah all people that are, about you. In the little shop, that are listening dear god that are standing in the gap for others hallelujah that is presenting themselves dear lord let that healing manifest to your honor to your glory hallelujah in the name of jesus lord we know that in numbers hallelujah i believe it's numbers 20 or numbers 23 i want to get that very quickly and that is the account of balaam and balak balak hallelujah and uh balaam was not being obedient he wanted his little greedy soul wanted all the riches that king balak was promising him if he would curse the children of Israel because he was afraid. Balak was afraid that the children of Israel, hallelujah, would take over. And he did not want that to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God, because of the stubbornness, the rebelliousness, the stiff-neckedness, the greediness of Balaam, the, the, the she asked that Balaam was riding actually turned and talked to Balaam hallelujah God gave that little she asked a little donkey it wasn't really a donkey it's just what they called it amen because a donkey is another formation but we're not going to go into that technicality but gave that animal a voice and that voice uh that voice said what God wanted it to say to his prophet that false prophet well, yeah, he really it wasn't a false prophet, he was an obedient prophet. That that is Numbers 23. Hallelujah. Praise God. And you can definitely read that yourself. Amen. But the man of God said, I can't curse anything that God has blessed. He said, I cannot mm -hmm. curse anything that God has blessed. There's a word for somebody. Amen. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because there are those that said, well, who is she? She's not a big name. Who 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 is Marion Williams? Who is who is AK Adams? Who they don't have the right. No, it's not me. He can use it's anything God. one anybody. Amen. <laughs> he is the Lord I God all the name of the Lord. It is his spirit that does the work through Christ Jesus because we would not be in place to receive the blessings of God because of our unrighteousness. Our righteousness is as filthy rags and God would not, because he is sovereign God, because he is holy, would not be able to interact with us. 
because our sin. But through Christ Jesus, hallelujah, he sees the righteousness of his only begotten son, his beloved son, hallelujah. He sees the righteousness, the blood of Jesus, hallelujah. And so we are able to have an audience with the Lord God Almighty. We are able to be his children. We are able to call him our Father. Amen. And I have that standing. And Sister Williams, you have that standing. Is that correct? Yes, we do. Yes, we are we children yes, of Lord. the Most High God. Thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. So when we speak God's word, just as that she asked, was able to speak, Hallelujah, because God declared it, because God did yes, that work. Lord. Amen. So we are as well. No, I'm not putting myself down. I'm just making it clear because somebody mm -hmm. needs to hear that. Amen. Praise God. And you need to know that God is God and he already has everything worked out for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So happy. Yes, Lord. Well, it's 1258. Lord, we ask you, hallelujah. We bind every spirit of lust, lasciviousness, yes, evil Lord. inordinate affection, covetousness, soothsaying, hallelujah, divination, spells, incantations, witchcraft wizardry sorcery of every kind we bind those spirits we bind the work of those spirits here and everywhere around this globe in the mighty name of jesus lord let your holy spirit hallelujah rule and reign let your word hallelujah come to the ears and penetrate the heart yes, of your creations according to your will we know there are some that you have created for that day of wrath mm, hallelujah i'm so glad that you have not created me to dishonor, but to mm -hmm. honor. And anyone that desires you, desires your son Jesus, is because you have drawn them to you. Hallelujah. Let them not fear. Hallelujah. Let them not fear that they are not called of you to receive salvation. They cannot even desire salvation, cannot even think about salvation. Hallelujah. Except that you put it in their spirit, in their hearts. And I thank you and I praise you for it, Lord. Now, there are those that are suffering from gum disease, disease of the mouth, of the tongue, the esophagus, Lord, the eyes, the ears, the nose, yes, Lord. Lord God. Hallelujah. Let healing take place. Be healed in the mighty name yes, of Jesus. You are Christ. able. Hallelujah, yes, pancreas, hallelujah, the liver, the kidneys, the stomach, the intestines, small, large, the anus, dear God. Hey, glory to God. The lungs, we come against the spirit, hallelujah, and the affliction of coronavirus. In Jesus' name, we bind the works of every demonic spirit that's behind the coronavirus. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Lord. I pray that the spirit, yes, Lord, you are able. the word, hee, hallelujah, increases in the mighty name of Jesus. Your, your children, especially, Lord, hallelujah, heal, heal, heal their hearts. Those who have lost loved ones and friends and mm. hallelujah, even neighbors, hallelujah. Dear God, those that are, that, are, that are suffering from grief. Hallelujah. I pray that they receive your healing, your comfort in Jesus' name. Lord, and let your, your, your children, regardless of their age, regardless of their status and their position, let them stir them up. Stir them up. Hallelujah. To share your word, to share your love, to share your works. Hallelujah. With those that you have brought to them in Jesus' name. We pray that they'll be healed of being timid hallelujah or intimidated hallelujah we pray that they will be healed and be bold in you loving sincere uh gentle uh, but firm and assertive in you and deliver and present your word according to your will in the mighty name of jesus be encouraged be encouraged yes, know lord. that god loves you know that god has the answer to every question and that you will receive yes, the answer 
at his appropriate time. Know that whatever situation you're going through right now, God already has the end in place for you. And he loves you. He loves you fervently, passionately, and he has good for you. Whatever ailment that you're suffering from right now, read those passages of scripture and read yes, Lord. The, the scripture before, the passages before and after so that you have a good understanding. Ask God to give you clarity. You have the right to speak to every single demonic spirit that's afflicting you and to bind its work. You do. It's written. Praise God. Read those scriptures again. Amen. And if you need clarity, God's going to lead you to the right person, to the right place, so that you can receive clarity, so that you can believe his word. Amen. Amen. You can cash that check. You can use the currency. Amen. And in this case, it's being free. Free from the bondage of sin and shame. Free from the affliction and being buffeted about by the enemy. And I know somebody is saying, yes, but Paul suffered. But that affliction was for his benefit. And God gave him clarity. He sought mm -hmm. the Lord three times. And God was very clear why he was suffering. So when you ask, A-S-K, ask, seek, and knock, he said, you will receive your answer. Amen. Ask, seek, and knock. Matthew, the seventh chapter, seventh verse. You will receive clarity. You won't be wondering. You'll know for sure. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. And Sister Mary Williams, I'm going to ask you to close us out. And when you're finished, this will end this particular session of Friday's uh, Intercessory Prayer Connection. I want to wish everybody a very happy Thanksgiving. Is Thanksgiving this week or is it next week? It is. It's this yes, week. You're right. It's that's right. Okay. Mm, this coming week. <laughs> Wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Now, you may not have a home. You may not have a place. But you you may not have any turkey for. dressing or cranberry sauce or something of that nature. But as long as you have Jesus, you can have a happy Thanksgiving. Ask me how I know. Ask me yeah. how to know. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. So again, be blessed. Enjoy the blessings of the Lord God Almighty. In the name of his only begotten beloved son, Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, the, 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 our intercessor, our high priest, our best friend. Amen. Our redeemer, our savior. Woo, the light of the world. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Go on, Sister Mary, because I won't stop otherwise. <laughs> God in heaven, we do thank you for another day, for keeping us and letting us see this day. Have your way in our life at all times. Lord, let your will be done. Let us be pleasing in your sight. And Lord, we thank you for this you have told with us well, no 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 be with us as lord as we leave today and you have given us this time on the air we thank you for that every way in our life undertake that we might be the people that you are pleased with and that you are calling for help us lord we pray we ask this in thy son's name thank you jesus thank you jesus and thank you again amen bless the name of the lord god bless amen. you God bless you, Sister Mary Williams. Thank God for you. Oh, thank you.